Yeah, you already know what it is, man. It's your boy Punch. Now, not good news today. Lil TJ, superstar young rising rapper, shot today in New Jersey. A lot of details, not good, not good, not good, not good, not good. Let's get to it. It's the Red Eye Conversation. Bob. Flight safety card, which we now ask you to read before takeoff. Thank you for your attention, and we wish you all a pleasant flight. All right, cool. So, according to TMZ, 10 o'clock this morning, Lil TJ went into surgery, a last-minute emergency surgery. They're not saying if it's critical condition yet. They're not saying um, how bad, but word is he got shot twice uh, earlier today in New Jersey, in Edgewater. Now, let me give y'all a little bit of a perspective. New York City and New Jersey are right next to each other. So if you're from the city, you already know it, but this is for everybody that's not from the city. New York and New Jersey is like, they're, 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 they kiss each other. It's so fucking close. You can see across the water, vice versa. Now, Edgewater is a town in New Jersey that is uh, like kind of the, the young, hip, kind of wealthy getaway. A lot of actors, a lot of athletes live in Edgewater. Because it, um, it makes sense. You're right by New York and you're in New Jersey. So it's a little bit cheaper and there's definitely more space than there is in New York. So Edgewater is it's definitely not the, oh, there was a shootout there town. That's not how it goes. Uh, Lil TJ did the right move getting out of the Bronx. Um, Edgewater is probably, although it's like probably 15 minutes away. You get what I mean? Um, 20 minutes on a, on a rough day. It still is far enough from the hood or lack of a better explanation to where it's like he shouldn't have been. So Edgewater, where he lives at, that kind of makes a lot of sense. But when you're in the typical towns, like, oh, you got bread? They're going to be there. Like if you go to Edgewater, you go to the store. I used to go to all the time. Um, had one of my friends out there and you just bump into NFL people just chilling in the in the in, in the deli, not chilling, but passing through in the grocery, you'll see a one, two Brooklyn Net players. You know what I'm saying? Might even see a Nick player. It's just like that. Edgewater is like that. Um, so it's not the most low key area. So to give um, a little bit more clarity on everything, uh, law enforcement, basically the cops basically said that um, TJ was shot after midnight last night in Edgewater. Um, and this morning he went into surgery because something got a little bad and complicated. Um, but there were two shootings. So one was at a Chipotle restaurant. I guess probably something happened. Maybe a shot rang off. They cut out to the Exxon gas station and they shot again. And then two people got hit. A lot of the details is fuzzy. Um, but sometimes people go, oh, he probably got into a gang beef. Oh, he bugging out. Oh, he right there. Nah, being at Edgewater is really supposed to be the safe option. Uh, I guess what I want to really tag in on is um, Lil TJ, like he, he a young rapper in a town, but he don't, he's not, I'll say this, he's not like trolling for attention like some of the other counterparts in the culture. So when I definitely seen his name, I was definitely disappointed because I'm going to be honest, this might be something that's going to fall a little awkward on somebody, but not everybody not everybody literally tries to stay out of trouble. Sometimes they really do. He also made a post yesterday that was weird. And it kind of made me wonder if this got something to do with somebody inside of his circle. He said, just because you've been around a person doesn't make you entitled to the fruits of that person's labor. With a big PSA on top. Y'all going to see it. Envy is at an all-time high out here. Be safe out here. That's the point that really made me go, well, what the fuck is going on with a big PSA? He doesn't normally post in that type of tone. So when he wrote that, I'm like, is there beef with somebody that's close to him? I hope not, man. But the other thing is that TJ is young. So you make mistakes. You don't read people that well. Sometimes you think somebody is your man or maybe they were and then they're just not mature enough to deal with the growth of you. It's a lot of hate when you're the rapper and you're the source of the money. You're the source of the girls. You're the source of the club. You're the source of the fun. People going to want to just be around you because you're the source of it all. You get me? So when he writes PSA just because you're around doesn't mean you're supposed to get the fruits of the labor. Translation, if anybody's under a rock. Just because y'all chill with me don't mean that y'all just going to get money from me. 
And that right there sounds like someone that's having a problem. If Think about this. If someone can chill around them, they got to be close enough. And if they ask him for bread, they think that they're closer than he feels like they should be. But then on that same exact accord, why would they be able to be around him if they wasn't that close? It starts getting that gray shit. I just hope, I hope it's not nobody around his team because that would be some dark, dark shit, man. Um, question. My question to y'all. Question to the culture. Question to anything. What can we do? You know what I mean? If it's like if you move out of the town and now you're not accessible there, like what else could a rapper do? Does it ever get to a point where rappers really ever get to live safe? Or who's the original person who said it? I can't remember. Everybody, I think Waka Flocka. A bunch of people have said variations of it. I know Meek Mill saying that rappers have the most dangerous job in the world. Do y'all agree? That like, yo, just because you rap, your life is at risk all the time. Or you feel like it's blown a little bit out of proportion. I'm going to be real. When you got clout, you can't even go to Target no more. Someone in there looking at you. It ain't be love. Even if it's 99.9% .9 love. One day, that point zero one is going to be somewhere where you're not trying to be caught up at. And all of a sudden, it'd be a problem, man. The hate be high. PSA, like Lil TJ said. What's your thoughts? Drop your comments. Drop everything. Um, let's just pray that Lil TJ good. Let's just hope that he all right. Let's hope that this was a leg shot and a fucking hand shot. Let's just hope it's something light. He got shot two times. Let's just hope it's light and it's cool. When they say surgery, that could be to remove a bullet from by a bone. Hope he broke a bone. You get what I'm saying? And it's nothing like by a lung or his heart or kidney or nothing like life-threatening. You know what I mean? It's a young man just really trying to get it. And that should be real dark if it definitely is something that he might fuck around and lose his life with. Number prayers to him just being real. It's the Red Eye. It's, you already know what it is, man. It's the Red Eye Conversation. This is the airport. And it's Punch. Talk to me.